guys, it's WWE Asylum 16 here coming at you guys with a yet another unboxing video. And as you can tell, I am not at home right now. I am clearly inside my school. Yes, I'm doing a video in the school for the first time just to see how this works. And another thing that changes, we got a special guest here. Say hello to my new friend, Daniel. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, what are we going to be unboxing today? Well, I'll tell you what, man. Since you got this for me, we're going to be doing this right now. Yep, so, straight out of Walgreens. Straight out of Walgreens. You ready? Yep. You guys ready? Pretty sure they're ready. Okay, they're ready too. And you can't count it down. Yo, we should count it down like the Royal Rumble. All right. Ten, Ten nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's right, guys. This guy right here yep. got me an Elite 41 Dean Ambrose straight out of Walgreens. Yep, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I Okay, the first time I went to Walgreens and I, I looked for a WWE figure, they didn't have anything. But then when I went back in March and I got the Finn Balor Elite, you guys remember that. That was like the first elite I ever bought from there and I didn't even know they sold wrestling figures there until then. So I now know. you gotta go to Walgreens just to get the best elites there. I know and quick tip for you guys, Elite 43 is also out of Walgreens too and that's just awesome man. Yeah, I, I'm seriously, I haven't collected a figure, the last figure I collected believe it or not was the Finn Balor Elite. Uh, it was actually, I didn't realize this was the same exact Finn Balor so this is um, uh, it's cool that this Dean Ambrose figure is uh, from the same series of, yeah. of elites. Let's see who else is in the set. So we also got uh, Ryback, who's no longer with us in the WWE anymore. Of course, anymore. Finn Balor, who you we got. We got Finn Balor, and we got Terry Funk, 123 Kid, aka X Pac, and then we got Lita. I actually have the whole set. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Yeah, I know. Okay. Right, so unbox. enough talking, let's unbox this bad boy. It's weird how it says Raw, too, because right now he's on SmackDown. I know, but this was released way before the draft even started. Yeah, you're right. All right. Right there. Let's try right, right there. Right there. <laughs> oh, dude, I've been waiting forever to open this. I've been waiting forever to get this Elite. I know. Ever, ever since it came out, I was like, dude, i got to get my hands on this. I saw this on Ringside Collectibles on Instagram, I and I was like, yo, I have to get this. It's an awesome So figure. check this out. This is the Dean Ambrose figure um, he wore on my mom's birthday. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how I remember, but he, he wore, wore it on he, payback. No, 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 he wore this, uh, uh, he wore this attire on the May 25th, 2015 edition of Raw when he dressed up as a cop. Remember that? Oh, yeah. And believe All it or right. not, that was on my mom's birthday, so that's how I remember it. All right, I don't remember so that. So you can see he comes with the, the police uniform things that comes with the cap and he comes with two nightsticks so let's okay. unbox this well it's really unboxed right, we it. get it so oh man i hate those rubber bands yeah those rubber band things are pain in the ass check right. uh, check how cool this dean ambrose figure is unbelievable um. I, people were saying the face scan wasn't all that perfect. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. I kind of like it. You know, I actually think the face scan is really good. But honestly, in my opinion, I, ha I have to prefer the Elite 36 Dean Ambrose face scan. It looks that, just dude, like right. Up. I had the same um, the same figure. Well, it's not the same figure. But um, the battle pack that I unboxed for you guys and for you as well because hey. you were watching my channel. Yeah. Hey, but, but um, you got to admit. This space scan is a lot better than that terrible signature series. Oh, definitely, one. definitely. Yeah. And the signature series one, dude, it was so much shorter than, than the actual figure. And I was like, wait a minute, exactly. why did All they right. do that? Why why is the signature series Ambrose so much shorter than the other figures? You know what? I actually bought that as a joke, and I still have it in box. <laughs> For real? Yeah, I know it's weird. Okay, so like I said, I I don't think it's the best face scan, but it kind of, I like what they did here. They tried a new face scan with the facial hair. So that's kind of cool. Looks pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Um, Although, you know, the only thing I don't like, I think the Elite 3016 Ambrose figure has the um, little belt studs sc sculpted. Yeah, so, but that too. But, um, but like good. I was saying, um, the face scan, like you said, for Elite 36, that face scan is the, for the same exact figure for uh, Battle Pack 43, I think, was yeah. with, uh, with the Seth, Seth Rollins, Rollins that came with the, the Money Bank briefcase. briefcase. Yeah, that was the same exact um, face scan. So, and I really enjoyed that figure because you know it was such a perfect figure. Yeah, but this one's pretty cool too because it's got the new shirt with just the logo. Um, so yeah, 
Yeah, and if you guys have any comments on uh, which Dean Ambrose fig elite you think should come out next and what accessories should he have. Yeah, I'll just leave it down below and uh, <laughs> we'll decide which figure we'll get. I mean, yeah. uh, anyway, so... Let's take let's, a look let's at take, the accessories. Yeah, let's take a look at the accessories. So, actually, how about you do it since you're new to the channel? Okay, cool. All right, so first we got the... Uh, the cop hat. Yeah, the cop hat. It has a cool. little details on it. Pretty there nice. You know. um, let's see how the hat looks on Ambrose. And next we have the. Pretty sweet. Look at that. Next we have. Not, not that well, bad. Not that bad, right? Yeah, definitely. I like it. I like it. It looks ju just like it came from Raw. Next we have the two kendo sticks. These Ke you can also night sticks, get dude. Night sticks. Night sticks. Okay. <laughs> How about the, dude? I was yeah. about to say if if um if we ended this video. Without even noticing you said kendo sticks instead of night sticks, that would have been a huge, yeah. huge mistake you made in your first video. Yes, I know. And I That's a huge said, botch right there. I only said kendo sticks because Dean Ambrose, you know. Oh, yeah, he's, 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 he's used to using a lot of kendo yep. sticks in his but, no DQ matches. But usually when I think of night sticks, I think of the big boss man. True. And Ambrose is wearing the cop attire, so. Yeah, rest in know, peace, boss man. Rest in peace. Um, so right, let's, let's see, the see how these night sticks on work on Ambrose. How do they usually hold it? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I think yeah, you he usually it did hold it, hold it like this. Oh yeah, 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 that's right, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You know what I like about this figure too? It has two hands to hold both nightsticks instead of one close fist. Yeah, that's what I always don't get. Like usually when they have two accessories of the same thing, they usually leave one hand open and one hand closed. I'm like, why do they do that? I know. Because it comes with two of the same accessories, so it's got to leave both hands open. But that's the thing I love about this figure is that they leave both hands open. So that way you can have uh, both night six in hand. So um, now we take a look at the real figure. So as you can see here, we talked about the face scan. Um, not the best face scan, but I like how they changed it up with the facial hair. So that's kind of nice. And um, if we remove the hat, awesome. if we remove the hat, that hair's looked pretty nice. Looks messy, like he rolled out of bed. Yeah, <laughs> something Grim would say. Yep. Uh, the the t-shirt's really nice. It's got the logo, and then on the back it says Dean Unstable Ambrose, and you can see that. He's just wearing regular jeans. He's got which... he's got the regular blue jeans that he wears all the time. And I like about uh, the thing I like about this belt is design is that it's kind of new because it's usually it's silver. Yeah, I like the gold. Yeah, it's got gold to... on here. I didn't even notice that. Right. What did that? Did he wear a gold design belt that night? I don't remember. I don't. Know. It, it was a year ago. Who remembers what belt Dean Ambrose wears? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, but, let's take um, a look at the uh, articulation. Yeah. All right. So obviously the head moves. The head moves obviously. All right. Um, the There's legs. No the legs move really well. Yeah. The, the of course the arms. How about uh, that uh, torso movement? Oh, pff, the girl's there hat. His hat. Um. Yeah, the torso moves pretty nice. Yeah. It doesn't seem like this figure is uh, loose at all, so it's brand, of course, it's brand new. Right? Yeah. But usually, sometimes, uh, uh, Mattel are uh, lazy, and they have uh, the figure, you know, really, really loose, but this is actually pretty nice, so. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Mattel. And, um. What I've been noticing also with the new figures is that they've been having a lot more plant flaws. What do you mean? So, if, you, if you've seen Grim, one of Grimm's videos, he got his Seth Rollins, and it's, it's all messed up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Usually, okay, well, I don't know if you guys know, but if you watch Grimm's toy show, me and him are such big fans of him. Um, shout out to Grimm. Shout out to Grimm. If, I doubt he ever watched this, but if he, if he ever watches it, he awesome. did, yeah. <laughs> DF for life. DF for life. Um, no, but like we were saying, so when Grimm usually does his like, unboxings, he looks at the figure very closely, and it, you know it looks like it's in good condition, good condition at all. But if he looks really closely, like you know, on the chest area and the arms, you can see there's like just a bit of like paint. I'm not, is, 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 it, is it paint or is it just I like think marks? It's paint or it could be chips, it, anything like that. Yeah, it's something like that. Uh, where Mattel just they just leave it on there without you know. Um, well, taking it off, so it's kind of lazy. Yeah, Mattel needs to fix that. They need to fix that, but this figure is spot on perfect, and I love it. Yeah, they need to fix that, especially when that new Finn Balor comes out. Right, BCs. right. That's that's a nice Balor. Um, yeah. I reckon that Balor boy is gonna be nice. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, uh, we got the black shoes, of course. Um, He's always wearing the black shoes. I like that. I don't, can you imagine Dean Ambrose wearing a re his normal attire, yet he comes in with white shoes? 
That would be so weird. weird. Oh, can you imagine him wearing like those uh, colorful shoes? <laughs> no, <person> no, <laughs> no, that would be terrible. Um, so I think we pretty much covered up the entire figure. Is there anything else we're missing? No, not really. Um, what would you rate this out of ten? You know, I have to go with an eight out of ten just because I think it's a really good Dean Ambrose figure, but I kind of, you know. The accessories could have been a little bit. I understand that this was from, you know, when he won, or not won, when he was, when he, when he had the cop attire, so the, I can understand I'm that. To, I, I'm trying to remember exactly what happened that night. Oh, yeah, he got arrested for, what was it? Um, I think he got arrested for something to do with Seth Rollins. Yeah, it's something to do with Seth Rollins. He got arrested backstage in a backstage segment between Rollins. Was it Rose Rollins in there? Yeah, he was in there. Maybe the authority. Maybe the authority. Yeah. No, it was J&J Security. Um, I think Seth Rollins and Ambrose. And then that's when these two random cops came in. And like, and I, I always made fun of the guy. With, with the where he's like where the guy told him to like you have the right to remain silent he's like you have the right to remain silent because yeah. his, his voice is all messed up he's like you have the right to remain silent yeah, Any, always, anything you say or anything you do <laughs> it would always be some guy like fit Finley too yeah what the hell so, um no but um this happened when he got arrested and then he came back in a, a in the cop car or what, was it a cop car a truck? It, yeah, I think it was. It a was cop in, like car. in a truck, but it was in a, a police truck. He came in. Ambrose was wearing. You know, okay, okay. I see what they're missing here. They're missing. The they're handcuffs. missing. No, well, not the handcuffs. They're missing the jacket. He came oh, in. Yeah. He had the hat had on. The he had the nightsticks in his hands. You know, in his belt or, or whatever. But they forgot to add the jacket. I didn't even notice that. Until now. They, they, this would have been the perfect time to add a letter jacket. Yeah, letter they could have added the letter jacket he came in. But I still love the figure nonetheless. Um, it's definitely got to be one of my top elites of uh, 2015, right? Yep. Yeah, of, of 2015. I think Gr I believe Grimm put this in his top 10 figures of 2015, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I, I mean, we should go back and watch that, but yeah. it would not have time. Um, for me, he rated out. Of, he rated an eight out of ten. I would consider it, you know, about the same. But I think it would be maybe more of a nine or nine point five out of ten, just because you, the figure looks just so perfect. Yeah. You know, they Mattel did so good on it. The the accessories are perfect, and I love how they have both hands open for Ambrose to hold the nightsticks, and even the hat looks good on him. Because yeah. usually when they put a hat on it, on like a certain figure, yeah. it look it, either it looks either it looks it looks too big on them, looks too small on them, or it just doesn't fit. Exactly. But this right here is spot on perfect, so I love that. And like I said, the face scan looks pretty good too. So, um, yeah, Mattel, you really nailed it this time. Gotta say. Uh, anything else you want to say? Well, you know, um, I'm, I'm, honestly, I think this, this Dean Ambrose figure is, is alright, but I just... I just like the Elite 36 Dean Ambrose figure just a little bit more. Let me get, let me guess. It's because of the face scan. No, it's not because of the face scan, but it just, I, I don't, I don't know. It's just something about it. You know, it has a little bit more to it, like the accessories. It came, okay. with, it actually came with a jacket. Oh yeah, it came with a jacket and it came with a kendo stick. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's gonna be the end of this unboxing for you guys. Um, it was fun. Quick thing here, we got some huge news. Come here, Daniel. Up, man? Daniel is officially a part of the channel. Yes, believe it or not, he is going to be doing a lot more videos with me. This is his first ever video, and if he likes it, um, I'm sure he will, but yeah. you know, he's gonna be doing so many videos with me, and it's gonna be a huge inspiration to the channel. It's gonna be such a big improvement for the channel. Hopefully, you get more people to watch, more subscribers. We'll see. And even, and maybe if you want, I, I could uh you could make me some new designs for like you know wallpapers or anything. I'll try, yeah. Yeah, anything. Um, but um, like I was saying, he's gonna be a huge part of this channel now. So it's not just me now. It's gonna be Daniel. And if he considers uh doing more videos in the future, which I'm sure he will, will, he will probably make a channel of his own, which I'm sure you guys will enjoy as well. But um, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you if you did like it. Subscribe for more, favor, you do whatever. And most importantly, RKO that like button out of nowhere. That, exactly. I I I I seen people do that. They used to say that in their uh at the like the wrestling the the wrestling fans 
the, of the YouTube the YouTubers, they usually say like you know a bunch of finishers for the like button. So I'm going with the RKO out of nowhere. Well, so I'm gonna go with the F5, F5. to counter that RKO. Oh my God, oh God. If speak, speaking of RKO and F5, I think you and I should do not only unboxings, we should do pay per view predictions yes. like Grim, like Grim and Doohop. Or we're gonna heal wife wouldn't matter, uh, and we should also do pay per view review. Um, we could even do a Q and A, you know, once I hit a thousand subscribers, and we could also do, uh, you know, just more unboxings. But I guarantee you guys, you will enjoy this channel from now on. If you haven't before, you gotta subscribe now. It's gonna be awesome to have a new friend with us or this time around, and he's gonna. It's just, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just it's just gonna be awesome. I mean, you guys gotta subscribe. I'm honored. Yeah, he's he's honored. Um, and believe it or not, we just met last week, which is pretty crazy. I know. But the, the, how did we meet again? Oh yeah, we both had. We look, both had the show your Rollins shirt. Show your Rollins shirt. Right show your shirt. We both were wearing the same Seth Rollins shirt, and we ran into each other in the in the cafeteria. And I was like, hey, hey, wait a minute. Okay, I see you with the Seth Rollins shirt. It's exactly what I said to you. And I had the Seth Rollins wristbands as well. And then that's when we met. We became friends. We've been friends ever since. It's only been about a week. But we, we act like we've known each other for years because, you know, we've been talking to each other nonstop on uh, Instagram. We've Snapchat. been video chatting on Snapchat. We've been doing all of that. So I think me and him are going to last in the future. Hopefully. Um, and even, even if, you know, when I get a better camera, in the future, because you know, I'll use my damn iPad right now. But right now, I'm using the phone because I can't bring my iPad to school, of course. But um, in the future, I'm, I will consider getting a better camera, you know, with high quality, and just you know, so the videos are just shake. Because I normally, when I edit my videos and I um, upload them, and I check the video manager, it it like usually says the videos are a little bit shaky, so I want to change it or whatever. So um, and yeah, I'm definitely getting a new camera in the future. So look forward to that, and that way the videos will be more professional, and it'll be a whole lot better, especially if we got another person in here with me. So, uh, so yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, oh yeah, if you, um, if they don't, of course they don't know you yet. So um, if you want to get to know guys, if you want to if you want to get to know Daniel a little bit more, his uh, his Instagram and his uh, Snapchat will be in the description box below. So if you haven't. If you want to, uh, you can go ahead and follow him on Instagram and add him on Snapchat, and he'll definitely add you back, of course, uh, if you guys want to know him more. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, is, there, is there anything else you want to say before we end the video? No, I'm just, you know, that's super, about it. Super excited, yeah. right? All right. So, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, I really enjoyed having Daniel in here with me, and it's, he's going to make a huge impact to this channel. He, I think I think you know if if you and, and me um, you know make more videos together in the future you know all these predictions and these reviews and all these unboxings all that even a toy hunt video I think we will get a ton of views ton of subscribers all that because we because we, we will now be noticed if we have two people on the channel right yeah yeah. Because how many channels do you watch See, with two people on there? Like, you see Grim and Doohop doing videos together, Grim and Alex, Grim and Heel Wife. Uh, you see just a bunch, of, a bunch of different people with two people on their channel. And that's what really gives them a, a lot of new subscribers. Yeah, you have the whole effing show. Yeah, the whole effing show. You know, yeah, it's so many, so many uh, channels that have two people on there. But yeah, so, um, <laughs> you know what? I got a funny idea. <laughs> I got a funny idea. What is it? If you guys really want to laugh, maybe at the end of the video, we I, since I say this uh, RKO out of nowhere, you know RKO that like button out of nowhere. I'm just, I'm gonna start saying that from now on. When I say that, I should actually RKO you out of nowhere just for the fun of it. But you guys, you gotta sell it. You actually gotta sell it. You I know. Will. So let's do that. So. Like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. Do all that good stuff. And most importantly, RKO! Oh. <laughs> RKO that like button out of nowhere. You alright, Daniel? He's good. Alright, guys, we are out.